Oh no. Oh my god. We're following this news alert in Tampa. It's a giant, oops, an Air Force C-17 landed at the wrong airport. Officials are trying to figure out how the mistake happened. Now, the huge military jet was headed to McDill Air Force Base, but the pilot landed at Peter O'Knight, a small municipal airport on nearby Davis Islands. Fox 13 Steph DP Trantonio is live at Peter O'Knight and Steph, big cargo jet, small runway. How are they going to fix it? You know, Chip, that is the 400,000 pound question here tonight. As you can see, the massive aircraft is still stuck here behind me on the airstrip, and it looks like it's going to be there for a little while. The real problem here is the airstrip is only designed to hold about 20,000 pounds. So if you do the math, they've got a lot of work to do here to lighten the load, and it's really becoming somewhat of a spectacle here along the fence, along the sidelines here. Folks keep asking, how do you think it's going to make it off this runway and get over to McDill? Skyfox got some amazing angles of this just a little while ago. It's been on the ground since about 1.20, 1.30 this afternoon. The scuttlebutt here on the street is, from some pilots we spoke with, is that the aircraft may be grounded for maybe up to 24 hours. Now, one of those pilots was a corporate pilot. You heard his uh, video there from his iPhone. He saw the whole thing. He was waiting for his plane to leave to go back over to TIA when he saw this C-17 flying too low. He said he laughed to himself. He knew the pilot must have made a mistake and gotten the wrong airstrip. Another thing we're hearing here on the sidelines is that people are also complimenting that pilot on making a safe landing. Now, keeping in mind, yeah, this may be one big oops, but the good thing is, is the plane landed safely. It's in a very crowded neighborhood here on Davis Islands. Nobody got hurt except maybe the pilot's uh, pride. A little bruising here tonight, Chip. Steph, the question is, how does it take off? That runway over there was 1,000 feet too short for that massive plane to get back up into the air. What are they going to do? Take it apart? Well, one of the guys we spoke with who is a pilot, him and his wife were standing here on the sidelines. Uh, we're told that the strip is about 3,500 uh, 3, feet long and that that kind of plane can't take off in just that amount of space. I did some research and I guess the northeast and the southwest uh, strips here were uh, lengthened back in 2008. They're going to need every inch <laughs> they can to get this thing off the airstrip. Now, the good news is, is they can take some fuel out of the plane. They can take whatever cargo might be on the plane off of there potentially. Uh, two buses have shown up behind me here from McDill. We don't know what's going on out there yet. All the uh, Air Force has said is they've confirmed it's one of their planes that's landed here. What they're going to do to either lighten the plane or move it, we don't know yet, Chip. So they're not saying how we ended up at Peter O'Night because there's no control tower at that airport. There is not a control tower. In fact, one of our Fox 13 producers, Alan Fedders, who's also a pilot, said this is what's called an uncontrolled airstrip, that really the pilots rely on each other and line of sight. There's no tower you're talking to to land here. Of course, over at McDill, you're talking to several folks. This was actually Tampa's main airport from 1935 to 1945, built as part of the Works Progress Administration. So now it's just a local municipal airstrip, but you really got to rely on that old gentleman's way here, Chip, to land by talking to other pilots and just using your line of sight and seeing who's uh, who else is in the air. I think one of the big problems too is we've had some extreme heat here this past 10 days. Those airstrips, you get a plane that heavy landing on something like that, it could sink, there could be damage to the airstrip. There's going to be a lot of questions after this plane uh, finally gets out of here, Chip. All right, thanks a lot, Steph. Appreciate that.